For mountaineer and adventurer Monde Sitole, the determined spirit he was born with and the guidance he received as a child has helped conquer overwhelming odds. After two miscarriages, his mother, Normonde, was told she couldn't give birth again. But she and her baby had their own ideas. I was born in Nyanga East, 25 June 1990, in a tent. I've uh, spent most of my years in Cape Town, and it's part of who I am. And it's actually the beginning of my mountaineering endeavors. Growing up in Kailicha was a timeless and a valuable experience for me because it has made me the person I am and I'm able to stand tall knowing that I actually stand on shoulders of the people who are actually taking care of me. So one of my biggest dreams was to be a, a mirror of what human potential is all about and, and to show people their true potential. When he was born, doctors said Monde wouldn't be able to walk or talk without difficulty. But today, he's among the most journeyed and outspoken of men. Teacher and mentor Zoliswa Mafilika saw it coming. I've been here for more than 30 years. And among the students that I taught is Monde Sitole, one of the most enthusiastic focused students. He was spotted because one of the skills that we're offering was the dance. So we partnered with U Dance for All. So Monde was identified and given a sponsorship to study high school through the Dance for All sponsorship. Zoliswa's intervention literally led the young man to the peak of human achievement and he's gone on to practice the same ground-up support for those from his community. What climbing represents to me is what musicians would say music saved my life. I would say mountain climbing uh, saved my life. Mountaineering is not about crevasses or sandstorms or whatever. Everyone can have fun on the mountain. I'm very grateful for the person who introduced me to mountaineering, Mike Horn. We started Desert Rose Adventure Club uh, with the purpose to inspire uh, kids who are coming from extreme backgrounds. And we thought that extreme sports is a beautiful and direct uh, catalyst to actually uh, solve the problems of the townships. Now, almost a thousand young people like Simpiwe Matuana and Moses Zolani Matriko are introduced to such sports, spurring new thinking and different paths forward. I met Monde when I was in grade nine. So while I was studying, he was busy advising me, like mentor, or like uh, encouraging me, although Zolani, don't do this, don't do this and that in life. So he put my life straight. I've never uh, do, done a rock climbing. Yeah, I'm a little bit scary, but uh, I will try my best. I think it's the best for me than mountain climbing. I'm excited to be here. I think my dream is going to come through. They train every weekend, offering a constant in the midst of continuous change. And it does make the difference. Climbing was fun. What do you think, guys? It was really fun. fun. It was really fun. Try son. Walking through his burdens, when Monde lost his mother last year, he decided that climbing the final leg of Everest without oxygen would be the right eulogy to her spirit. The Dare to Dream expedition is um, an expedition of the world's seven summits, the highest mountains on each continent. I have succeeded with four of the seven summits, which is the highest mountains on each continent. Being on the mountain comes with the realization that it's not the mountain you conquer but yourself. When he was assaulted for working to improve the lives of former gang members, it only affirmed for him that his life was a calling. I believe that nature teaches us consciousness and that we're not human beings having a spiritual experience, but spiritual beings having a human experience. And it's more 
important now than ever that we become more conscious of our decisions and how we treat one another, because nature is consciousness. Most of Monde's guides have been women. From his late mother Nomonde to his favorite climber Wanda Rutwix and in Rushana Gray, the gents met another visionary woman. I think it is important to understand the true value of the environment and all that it holds because then once we've experienced it, we can understand it and we are more likely to want to protect it. I chose to serve burgers but not your usual burger and so the burger patties themselves have a lot of different wild greens in them there's herbs there's wild mint there is seaweeds and those flavors sit for a little while to mature and develop and so once they're fried up just like a burger patty you can use it in all kinds of different dishes Rushana discovered that whether in food or the wider economy, Monde Sitole feels as she does, that innovation and ingenuity are our way forward. The next step for Umonde Sitole is Mount Everest. I, I feel more aligned and I believe the time has come. And me climbing mountains uh, is not just a job. It has transformed into a calling and I would encourage everyone else to find their true purpose and calling. As good a start as any is deciding to go walk about in nature and from there to keep walking until all becomes clear. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.